Hi everyone, it's me Roxanne and I'm back with another segment featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use your automatic needle threader. Quite recently I've had several emails asking again how to use it and uh, people have some frustration that it's just not working for them. So I'm going to show you how to use the automatic needle threader again and I'm also going to try and detail the little hook that has to go through the eye of the needle uh, in order to hook the thread and pull it through the eye of the needle. And I also have an idea for an alternative method for threading the machine if you just can't seem to get the knack of the auto needle threader. So stay tuned. Here I am back in front of the machine and I've gotten a very close-up view of the eye of the needle which you can see right there and I'm going to show you how to use the auto needle threader you're going to gently pull down this lever on the left and loop the thread underneath this silver hook now as you press down the whole thing spins and right between this little fork you will hook your thread in to the little hook that's in between that fork and let go and the needle will be threaded now sometimes that little hook that's inside this fork shaped mechanism will get bent so just gently guide guide it through the center of the eye of the needle with your finger. I'm going to show you how to do that again. Press the lever on the left over here. Gently hook underneath this silver hook, which is the mechanism. And as you press down, you're going to hook the thread right between that fork and then let go and your needle will be threaded now for those of you that still can't get the knack of using the auto needle threader um, I have an alternative for you several years ago um, I purchased this Dritz serger needle threader and I actually purchased this to help thread a couple of tricky areas in my little Morita cover stitch machine. And this is the needle threader. It has a long, sturdy handle. And one of the nice things about it is not only that it has this long area to get into tricky spots, but the loop is very curved. Unlike the old needle threaders that we have, that are just fine for threading a needle and thread, but this is not so good for using in the machine in little tricky areas. And this tends to be a little bit more flimsy. This loop is a little sturdier. And I found as an alternative method that this little threader really worked great. So now I'm gonna show you how to thread the 9960 using this tool. Here I am back in front of the machine again and right in front of the needle which you can see and I'm going to show you how to use this needle threader that I have found works very well and it can be an alternative method for you if you're frustrated with the needle threader or you just can't get the knack of it. So just align your your left finger up against the needle don't push on it just just rest it there and easily guide the loop right through the needle. It's really very easy with this long handle. It's so easy to maneuver it right through. Then take the end of your thread and it's very easy to see that big loop and pull it right through and thread it. So I hope if you've had difficulty using this uh, auto needle threader that you'll give this little tool a try. I think it's really a lifesaver. Thanks for stopping by and watching my latest video on troubleshooting the automatic threader as well as an alternative needle threader to use on the Singer 9960. 
So have a happy creative day. Bye now.